What is up, guys? What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Old Guy's Garage. I want to apologize about the time that it's gone uh, in between videos. Um, sad news, my mother passed away, and um, that pretty much took all the wind out of my sails. Um, and I haven't done a video since uh, her service, so I apologize for that. But uh, she would not want me to quit doing this. Um, I love and I have a passion for building cars and race cars. So we will continue doing this and her honor. And uh miss you, Mom. This one's for you. Stay tuned. Got a good episode for you. We're on the C10. 72 C10 with a big block. Um, you can check all the other videos. We've done all the rear suspension. Put a fuel tank in, fuel pump. Uh, we did a C-notch, springs. Uh, center the rear end. There's lots of videos. Uh, if you haven't seen them, go back and check all the ones out on the C10 build. Um, the timeline now to get this done is next SEMA show, uh, November 2025. Currently, we're right in front. This is being filmed just before 2024, so should have a year to get this completed. The bed's over there. The bed is, has been primered and sanded. Uh, two times and block sanded by hand with like a 36 inch block so it's super straight got a little bit of work to do left on that just want to show you so we got a little bit of beer uh paint and metal shown right there i want to we're going to prime with this one more time but it's super straight this is guide coated it hasn't been sanded yet you can see there's a little spot right there that'll sand out and then there's a little bit of a low spot right here where you can see the guide coat still right in here. And the, the paint job is gonna be so amazing when we're done. And the clear coat is gonna be so deep because uh, I got really good clear. That would actually show up. I could tell that would show up in the paint and I don't want that to show up. So we're gonna primer this one more time. I'll modify the tail lights. Let me show you that. So from the factory, there's a bar right here, and then your reverse light is up here, and then your tail light is down here. We have now one piece tail lights. They are not cheap. They're like $950 just for the tail light assembly and the billet aluminum frame that goes around it. And I'll show you those uh, later. We're gonna show you a fitment on this and how it fits. This side's not quite done. This side's close to fitting. Um, and I'll show you that uh, in another episode. During that time, I did build this stand, which is really awesome. Um, it's fully adjustable. The legs extend out and then the center closes in. And up there, you can see that drops down and lifts up and then it spreads out to, you can see a little better there, that, that piece slides into that one. And then that drops down to there and literally it'll be like a workbench when I'm not using it for a bed holder or a bed cart. So we'll put those big casters on it, rolls really nice. And uh, we'll probably sand it down and paint it. But right now the bottom of this has got to get sanded and almost done being sanded. Uh, it's bare metal. Just got a little bit more cleanup to do. And we're going to primer the bottom of this and then shoot blue the blue metallic that the truck is going to be it's going to be awesome let me show you the truck now so we're redoing all the seams i got all the seam sealer out of there it was all cracking and it, most of it was actually body filler uh but there was a little bit of seam sealer in there too but we're going to do it right um yeah so that brings us to this big seam so there used to be a seam right there all the way across. And if you see a regular C10, they're gonna, there's going to be a body seam right here. 
and uh, I welded that all up and we got a fiberglass skim coat on there of kitty hair all the way across I'll show you the other side um, this was not easy and there's some steps if you're gonna thinking about doing this you got to be really careful when I was welding that seam <clears throat> no joke like i've seen i've seen some c10s uh custom ones like this one's gonna be um that when that's shaved it just looks really clean and that's what i'm trying to get out of this truck is just a super clean look um you can see that we we shaved all the body molding or the yeah there's a molding that goes right there and we shaved all that off and cleaned it all up so that's going to be really clean we got rid of the gas fill hole and uh so i decided to get rid of this seam right here and it was no joke so what i didn't know uh in that seam is they let it from the factory there's lead in there you can't see it maybe a little bit in a couple locations you can see it but it's very very dangerous uh to weld lead it splatters and the fumes are very toxic so when i started welding it in the middle here <clears throat> I didn't know yet that there was any lead in there and I got uh, I had some fumes come up which you do when you're welding anyway and um, some of the fumes came up um, and got under the welding mask and I got a good inhale of it and I was sick for really sick for a couple of weeks like uh, felt chest pain a lot of lethargic uh, like pain in my lungs yeah so if you decide to do that um, what I did after that, once I realized there was lead in there and those fumes were so toxic, um, I went ahead and used a respirator underneath my welding mask. So that's something you want to do. It's, it's kind of Darth Vader times two. You got the welding mask on, which is the big shield. And under that, you got the respirator and the, the mask barely closes over the respirator, but it's better than breathing those toxic fumes. And... The, no joke, I, we, I've we i kept track of all my time on, on everything that we're doing on this truck. And the time that I have in this seam is a little over 20 hours just welding and grinding this seam. Um, so would I do it again? I think the look is going to look so amazing that um, when this truck's parked next to another C10, uh, you won't be able to tell why this one looks so clean. Uh, except for you'll be like, wow, what's different about this truck next to the one that's sitting right next to it that's stock? Um, but that this is one of those things gonna that's going to make it look super clean. And when you see how we paint the roof and do the paint job on this, you'll see why we did it like that, just to give it a really super clean look. So thanks for tuning in, guys. If you haven't, uh, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. We greatly appreciate it. It keeps it going. And uh, I do apologize for the length of time that it's been since our last video. Uh, like I said, we lost our mom, um, talking about my two brothers and our entire family. And a uh, very, very special lady. Um, you know, and you never, you never know what it's like without your mom until she's gone, because you've always had her. And um, we were super close. It was, so it's been really rough. Um, and it's been a couple years now. Um, and it's still rough. So... Uh, thank you for, you know, your patronage and watching the channel, bearing with us. But uh, we're going to start releasing more videos. I'm excited again about doing this. And uh, like I said, it took the wind out of my sails. Uh, I was just, you know, devastated. So anyway, guys, God bless you. Thank you for watching. And uh, we're going to keep showing you this build. I'm going to start grinding on this. Uh, we're going to get this shaped and then do a light coat of body filler on there. And... Uh, that's coming up in this episode. And then we're going to show you uh, what we're doing with the Chevelle. Um, we're going to show you where that's at in the build. And um, just give you a build update on that as well. That's come a long way since it's been videoed uh, last. So we appreciate your patronage. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe and share our videos with other people. We really appreciate it. Thanks.
this is one grind and one sand. And you can see it's starting to really take shape. It's looking really good. So we're gonna put a thin layer of body filler over that. And I'm using uh, 40 grit on a grinder and 80 grit on a three inch or three inch by like 24 inch block. I'll show you the block. I corrected. It's a 16 inch block, firm flex, firm and flex. It's a K block. And the cool thing about this block is it's super rigid. You can buy the, uh, the paper on a roll. This is 80 grit. And if you push really hard, it'll conform to the curved surface, but yet it stays really straight. So I like these because they're really, really hard, but yet they're soft enough to, if you push hard, it's hard to see, but it'll actually conform to the curve. You can see it's totally tight. And then if I let off, you can see the gap right there. So the, the bottom of the block is straight because the cab is curved. But if you push down really hard, it, it bonds to the same shape so you can get it really straight. So I've been blocking, been blocking this and uh, I don't really have a video stand high enough to show you this while I'm actually doing it. Um, but I ground it first. Here you can see it's barely ground yet. So that's what it's like before being ground. And I started to show you grinding it, but it was focusing. Uh, the focus was an issue. So just decided to go ahead and start grinding it, get it on its way so this hasn't been ground yet and i come down here step off the cab this is all got to get ground and flattened out so this is this is a shallow spot right here so when this is ground out it should be pretty flat let me take it over to the other side and show you but it's looking good it's probably uh i don't know if i'm gonna have to do any more fiberglass work i don't think so i think it's gonna smoothen out really nice and then uh, we'll just do a light coat over here of little body filler. And I'm, I'm focusing on this radius too, cause I could actually make that a point. I had it a point and then I shaved the point off to make it all consistent with the block. So yeah, let me show you the other side. Here's the other side. You can see how smooth this side is. Like it's, it's really close to being right on the money before primer. It's looking good, and it's really smooth. There's no dance or bumps. It's really nice and straight. And you can see the you see the radius. It's almost to a point, but there's no point there. And I've seen them finished where there almost looks like a point, and I don't like that. Uh, the ones that I've seen that are real pointy, it doesn't look right to me. So this cab obviously has got a radius to it. You can see the shape of the cab has got a radius. And that should rate ready go up to the top meet the top but it should not be a point Let's see if i can focus out there and it still looks kind of pointy right now but once it's sanded and primered it should be a pretty smooth transition so yeah it's looking good so we're going to continue thanks for watching Okay, so here it is all clean. It's been sanded with um, 
uh, started out with grinding with 40 grit and then sanded with the block with 80 grit and then I went over it with the DA and 80 gritted it and then I blew it all off except for up there blew it all off and it actually looks really nice now I'm getting ready for a light coat of body filler, just a real thin skim coat to cover that whole thing, catch all the pinholes. And uh, so that's what we're gonna do next. But if you look right here, you can see if it'll focus, maybe it won't focus way out there. Yeah, it's hard to see, but the radius looks really good. It looks natural. So I'm excited. All right, let's go into the phase of the little body filler. Sorry, starting to sit up. Yeah, at some point, you just got to leave it alone because you just keep messing it up. I'm going to just do a little touch up here. See, it's drying. I can't mess it up, but it'll mess it up. All right. All right, we'll go back and sand that. Let it dry and come back and sand it. Probably do another thin coat, depending on how it goes. And we'll show you what it looks like when it's done.
That's not that right there. It needs a little more filler right there. All the rest of it came out though. All right, so we got one coat of uh, body filler sanded, and um, I think it's only going to need one more coat, uh, just in spot sections, so check it out. All right, so everywhere you see a couple of little black marks, those are all low spots. Low spot right there, there's actually a low spot right here, a little bit low. Low there, a little low right there. Low there and there. Not there, that, that's okay. It's a little low right there. And those spots right there, but the rest of it looks really good. There's a bunch of little low spots, but not bad for the first coat. And it feels really smooth. Let's see if I can get a side shot of it. All right, so here's a side. Still got a little bit of a low spot right there. We'll get that all dialed in with the next coat. But you can kind of see right here, the corner, there's, I mean, I literally could make a pointy body line if I wanted to, but I don't want to because I've seen trucks like that when they're done and it looks, doesn't look natural. Should have, should have a little, good little radius to it. Uh, which it does right now, just it's not finished, but it's close. It's literally one coat away from being ready for primer. I'll show you the other side. All right. Oop. Here's the other side. One little low spot right here. The rest of that feels good. Oh, it's a little high right here still. The mud's a little high right there. I gotta sand this a little bit, but it's got a nice radius. And I'm getting it actually to a point, and then I'm doing a 45 on one side and a 45 on the other side, and then rounding the corner. So it should be pretty symmetric, and I'll go by by hand and just sand it with my fingers lightly on the radius to get the radius smooth. But it's pretty close to being ready for primer. All right, guys, check it out. Uh, this is uh, ready for a skim coat. And there's a little bit right here we gotta do, but it looks really smooth. You hop up top. This is really a really thin, thin coat. Just got a couple little low spots. But other than that, it's looking good. Almost ready for primer. One more little skim coat. There's a couple little low spots. So we'll do one skim coat. Sand it down one more time. And then we're gonna be going to weld the seams over in the corners on the A pillars. There's one there and then there's that seam right there. I'm gonna weld and that one's already partially welded. I'll show you on from the front. All right, so you can see there's a seam right there. I'm gonna weld that all closed. 
all the way down to here, all that's getting welded. This one's already welded right here. That's all closed. That was just like that. And I just got to do a little more welding in here. Underneath here, just a little bit and a little bit more there. That's almost done. And you can't even tell it was two pieces. It was like that. Yep, some metal fatigue right there. I gotta weld all that closed. Do the same thing on the other side and then uh, get all this clear coat off. This clear coat's gotta go. And then it's gonna get primered. There's some clear coat still up here. That's gotta all come off. That's all gotta come off. It's really hard too, but I'll get it off. All right, stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. It is officially the cab corner, and cab seam is officially completed and ready for high build primer. It's all very smooth, very flat. All the way across. Uh, on the next episode, you're going to see me weld up this seam right here. And then the other two on the other side. Here's the other side. Uh, you can see that we uh, get welded in the gas fill hole. And that's all ready for high build primer as well. Here's the other side. Nice and smooth. I mean, it really feels nice. It's hard to see the radius, but the radius is really gentle. And it's not sharp at all. It should look killer with primer on it and just come out perfect. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. In the next video, we're going to go over welding up this A pillar seam on both sides here. Let me get it to focus. There we go. Hey guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Uh, in the next video, you'll see us weld those cab corners uh, on the A pillar and uh, get this ready for epoxy primer. Um, also, we have to do a power steering pump on the 67 Chevelle, which will be an upcoming episode. Uh, we're going to attempt to get that from. Uh, fixed and not leaking the power steering pump is a problem right now so we're going to go over that in the next couple videos so thanks for watching guys appreciate you staying tuned give us a like subscribe to the channel and uh, we appreciate your patronage we'll see you in the next video peace
Hey guys, thanks for watching. We really appreciate you coming back and uh, appreciate your patronage. Thanks for watching Old Guy's Garage. And uh, we look forward to making some new exciting episodes and uh, getting back on track. So thanks for your patience and your patronage. We'll talk to you soon. Give us a like, give us a sub subscribe, and a shiwa 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 shi